Hi, it's Leland Sklar. I'm here at the Warwick factory in Germany. Um, I've been using a Warwick Starbase 2 now for the past approximately, geez, four to five years, I think. Absolutely love this space. And um, Hans Peter and I were talking one day and he had a, a desire to do a signature model of it. But I think that base is already so perfect that I was trying to think, what can I do to make this even more unique to myself. So I got together with the true genius of Warwick, um, Marcus Spangler. We've come up with a, a, a design I think that's really wonderful. This was one of the earlier prototypes. Here is one we just finished working on today and um, it's got some refinements on it that um, have come up from this and I think that the next generation of this is going to be the finished base, because I think everything that I've wanted is now going to be incorporated into the next one. I'm thrilled about this. I, I love my relationship with Warwick and Hans Peter and the family. It's uh, a, a great opportunity to do something unique for the company. This thing sits beautifully. It has a nice balance to it. it having this cut on the body has made it a little bit easier than sitting when the traditional one comes out a little bit farther square out and it's an edge that you're leaning into all day long because I was using it for a lot of sessions so sometimes I'd be playing this for like 8-12 hours a day. Having this angle on here gives it a little bit more comfort for me and it's a little bit more of a cutaway up here so it's easy to reach the top even though if you're up here too much then you need a bass player so you got to be very careful about this but it's um, I'm on the road with it right now and I've been using it all year uh, on my star bass and I'm looking forward to next year having uh, my own signature bass out there on the road and uh, turning everybody on to it uh, I have a lot of people asking questions about the star bass and uh, I'm very proud that uh, I've gotten involved with this company. So uh, keep your eyes open. It should be hopefully by NAM time next year, there'll be a um, Sklar Base 1 um, on the market. And uh, if you buy one and I see you, I'm happy to put a signature on it for you. That's, that's part of the agreement. But. Uh This thing plays beautifully. Hi, Marcus. Hello, Lee. Good to see you again. Good to see you too. We've had a great day together. Yep. Me and the genius over here. He's, he's the genius. No, he's the genius. I, I switch him off. And we can go right back. It's a miracle. These guys come up with ideas that just nobody's ever wanted to think of. This is my uh, prototype of my signature base for Warwick. I'm Leland Sklar, Marcus Spangler, and that's another uh, more advanced version of the uh, base that we're working on, which is all derivative of the Warwick Star Base 2. And maybe Marcus will explain to you what uh, little nuances we've added to this new base. A lot of things what we changed was or the major part was to change was the was the cutaway yeah to extend it or to make it more, more accessible accessible for the higher registers and of course the shape or the armrest um, that is more ergonomically yeah and these were also the the major difficulties to do on a star base yeah and that we get still the sound of the star base, but also make these things happen. Um, because normally the star base is made out of um, plywood. Yeah. And to carve a plywood like this, it's very difficult yeah. to do. And also to make the rim construction, it's very difficult. So I decided or we decided 
to make it a solid body and make it just hollow. Yeah, you chambered it out. Yeah. yeah. And it's completely inside carved, so the backwards backside is carved and also the top side is uh, carved and follows the top shape. And, and here on this side you have <clears throat> a solid block of wood. And yeah, this is the major difference with yeah. it. Electronically, I think we're, we're still on doing the star base. Um, the pickups and everything are, are the same electronics that, that are in the standard star base. This is just ergonomically a different instrument. And it's a different shape, like with the F hole in it. I found, I saw that design on a manhole cover in some city I was in. I looked down in the street and saw that and I thought that would be a nice modern change for a uh, traditional F hole. And I think it's, I think it's pretty sexy. Yeah. This is an amazing switch, so it's... I've never seen one like this before. Incredible. I hope my signature bass has this on every one so people can enjoy it. Amazing. Today we were selecting the woods. Yeah. A uh, very beautiful quilted maple top, yeah. very special quilted maple top. I, um, it's going to be amazing. Yeah, it's, I saw it the first time in this way, and it's really an amazing piece of wood. Then so the we, mahogany. We the did, yeah, we came up, found a nice piece of ebony from yes. the fingerboard. Yeah. Um, I think, uh, yeah, a great piece of mahogany for the body. Um, we discussed all of the... Uh, little nuances, other little things that we're going to do on this yeah. thing. And um, I think uh, basically today was really to fine tune an idea that's been going on now for the past year. And fortunately, I was on tour and had two days off and I was close enough where Marcus came to our show last night uh, and uh, drove me back here. And we've got to spend the day and actually physically finish the ideas uh, rather than texting them back and forth. We reshaped the neck a little bit um, from this from this prototype. Um, we shaped it down and got it to the exact dimensions that I w would like to play it on. And um, so I think we're all dialed in. Now it's a matter of disassembling all these parts that we've we've come up with. And I think we have lots of pictures from our adventures today. So uh, you'll be able to follow through on that when you uh, when you check all this video out. Yeah. And we're gonna have a few other little surprises. This was basically all the body shape modifications, but there's gonna be a couple of other little things added to it in the final that uh, I think will be intriguing to people, but that's <laughs> it's a secret right now. But uh, you'll see it. It should be at the NAM show in uh, sure. 2017. Uh, in Los Angeles, and yeah. I'm excited. I think it's going to be a wonderful instrument and a wonderful addition to the uh, to the Warwick family. And uh, I'm proud to be a part of that group, and I'm proud to call Marcus a friend. And he's a brilliant uh, luthier. And uh, so, so thanks to the team, what we have here. So he's it's got not a great team. He's got yeah. a great team. Everybody works together, but it has to emanate from somewhere. So that's where we're at. I yeah. think I think this is a good good start, and I think you're going to really love this space when it's all finished up. We'll see you uh, down the pike. Hopefully, anybody that makes it out to the NAM show, come up and say hi. We're going to be spending a lot of time at the Warwick booth, so come over and say hi. And there's always a great 
um, photo session there and autograph session with all the different Warwick artists who make it there. And I know I'll be hanging out there because being a bass player, I'm desperate for attention. So please come around and uh, take care. And as most of you people who know me, then that's just, that means I love you. You're number one.